The former vice president said it was unfortunate that the court boss was enjoying himself at lavish functions, defying all the coronavirus guidelines. Yet Kenyans found doing the same are rounded up and quarantined and no action has been taken against him. The bad news for us in the elite political class is that this cannot go on forever. Mudavadi wondered how Kenyans will be held to account for flouting the guidelines. If politicians who should lead by example are defying the same with impunity. If Wananchi who are party, who party, are rounded up and quarantined, why don't leaders who do the same get quarantined? Or do we have different categories of citizens? Those for whom the law was made and those who are above the law. The Amani party boss challenged Atoli to think of the Kenyan worker and the agony they are going through at times of pandemic instead of engaging in politics. Meanwhile, Kiamba, member of parliament Paul Koinange, has called on leaders to embrace unity as the country celebrates 57 years since it got independence. So I urge all Kenyans, as from Koinange family, please, please, let's unite together and work together. And our national anthem is very clear that Kenyans should unite together, live as brothers and sisters, work together for the good of this country. Koinange, who is also the chairperson of the Security Committee in the National Assembly, wants leaders to stop politicking, but instead focus on helping the country fight the coronavirus pandemic. And let us stop politicking from Monday to Sunday and politicking from January up to December. This is not what we fought to get our independence. We fought our independence to pull together, work as a nation and address all the issues which we knew were there. Elsewhere, Kirinyaga Deputy Governor Peter Ndambiri has called for sobriety amongst local leaders instead of engaging in endless political bickering. And I'm calling upon all leaders to stand united, including the members of the county assembly, the senate, uh, the members of parliament. We should all stand in unity within this Kerenya county and work with other bodies within the county. Ndabiri said it was unfortunate that a group of youth had been hired by political goons to hurl insults on Interior Principal Secretary Karan Chakibicho for touring the country, yet he is also a leader from the same county. I saw a few young men trying to lecture uh, a full piece that he should resign. Resigning for what? For what the president has told him to come and do. I am calling upon the elders in Kirinyaga to give counsel to these young men who are being misled and tell them that readers ought to be respected. Reporting for Channel 1 News, I'm Timothy Kipnusu.